Hey everybody, so we're here with Dr. Greg Carton. He's a performance consultant, works a lot on the PGA Tour. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things, the common traits that he sees that hold people back from performing at their best. I think the most popular request I get when people first walk into my office or I meet them for the first time is they say, ah, I need to have a better mental game. Probably the biggest misconception is that we have to think a certain way to perform at our best. Um, I try to get folks to understand that regardless of what you're thinking, negative, positive, nothing, tons of thoughts, uh, that it's not the thoughts that cause our issues, it's our resistance to how we're feeling or thinking in the moment that does cause that tension. Standing on the first tee, thinking about the last tee shot you hit that went right, um, and then saying, oh wait, I'm not supposed to think that, I'm supposed to think positive thoughts, and then that's a resistance right there. And that's what causes the tension. So instead, it's think, standing on that first tee, allowing all these thoughts to sort of enter our mind, which they will anyways, uh, observing them and, and doing nothing, really. It's sort of returning back to what we call our direct experience, what we're doing in this moment, not allowing our thoughts to sort of cloud that experience. So the first misconception is this idea that uh, a lot of us think that I can't think negative, I can't think, don't shank that. The reality is that we all do and we all have those negative thoughts. They just don't have any power. They don't have any power until we give them power by trying to resist them. So a lot of players will say, and I'll ask them all the time, when you're playing your best, what, what are you experiencing? And most of them say, well, I'm not really thinking about anything. And I, I clear that up a little bit so people know it, it's not that you're not thinking about anything, because again, we can't really do that. It's that those thoughts, we're so engaged in what we're doing in our moment in front of us that the thoughts aren't registering. We're having them, but they're just not registering. We're not doing anything other than observing them without knowing, really. 